Whispers of the Past. Chapter 8, Journey to the Ancestral Village. Kira's arrival in the ancestral village marked the beginning of a chapter steeped in mystery and shrouded in the mists of time. The village, nestled in a valley that time seemed to have forgotten, greeted her not with open arms, but with wary eyes and closed doors. The air was thick with unspoken stories and secrets, and the pendant around Kira's neck felt heavier with each step she took on the ancient cobblestone paths. The villagers, descendants of those who had once lived and breathed the same air as her ancestors, looked upon Kira with a mix of curiosity and suspicion. It was clear that outsiders were rare, and those who came bearing the marks of ancient lineages, even more so. Kira's presence stirred whispers like leaves in the wind, whispers that spoke of old wounds and deeper fears. Undeterred, Kira sought out the village elders, the keepers of the village's history and guardians of its spiritual practices. These were men and women who had inherited the stories of their forebears, stories woven into the very fabric of the village like threads in a tapestry. To them, Kira presented the pendant, a silent plea for understanding and guidance. In the dim light of an old stone cottage, where the air smelled of earth and time, the elders gathered around Kyra, their faces illuminated by the flicker of candlelight. With reverent hands, they examined the pendant, their expressions shifting from skepticism to awe as they recognized the ancient symbols etched into its surface. The pendant, one elder began, his voice a whisper of leaves and shadows, is more than a mere artifact. It is a vessel of our history, a connection to the spirit world that has protected this village for generations. He spoke of the shaman, Kira's ancestor, who had crafted the pendant with powers drawn from the earth and the sky, imbuing it with the essence of protection and guidance. But the story, as Kira soon learned, was not without its darkness. The betrayal that had led to the pendant's curse was a wound that still festered in the heart of the village. It was a tale of greed and power, of a bond broken between the shaman and one they had trusted, a betrayal that had unleashed a torrent of sorrow and misfortune upon the village. The elders spoke of the restless spirit bound to the pendant, a guardian turned prisoner by the weight of the curse. To free the spirit, they said, is to heal the old wounds, to mend what was broken and restore balance to the spirit world and our own. Kira listened, her heart heavy with the knowledge of the task that lay before her. The journey to the village had been one of discovery, but it was clear that the true journey was only just beginning. To free the spirit, to lift the curse, she would need to delve deeper into the mysteries of the pendant and confront the shadows of betrayal that lingered like ghosts in the mist. As night fell over the village, Kira stood at the edge of the world her ancestors had known, the pendant a beacon of light in the darkness. Ahead lay a path that would lead her into the heart of the curse, a path fraught with dangers both seen and unseen. But in her heart burned a flame of determination, fueled by the stories of the elders and the spirit that whispered from the shadows, guiding her steps towards destiny.